All right, we're back. It's Mario Monday. My internet is trash, but I think mainly at this point it was because Facebook is trash because it doesn't like uploading things. But regardless, we're here. And let's get right into the voices because I ended it off with just getting the Crystal Star last time. And now I got to do a bunch of voices for a whole bunch of different cutscenes before we actually get to the actual game. It'll probably be about 20 minutes before we actually get to real playing again. Ah, uh, let's just jump into it. Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Ah, <gasps> uh, there goes Duplis. Bye, Duplis. At least I don't have to keep up those voices for very long. Are you sure about this? Speak up, Exnaut. Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured over all of our research at the Thousand Year Door. And it appears the ceiling power has been definitely has definitely been weakened, as Beldum said. Finally, the treasure of legend. The ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. I don't think I've had a consistent voice for this guy yet. Listen, and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario. That meddling scum. Got it, sir. X not out. Wakanda forever. Soon, I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. Very, so very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. I will all will kneel before the x naught regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect, ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. This term... Nepotism? I don't know. <laughs> There's a word for like, for me, by me, and all about me. Something like that. I think it's nepotism though. Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing? Perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I, I am conflicted. What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do. Really. What do you mean? No. No. Never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if you, if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I am about to ask you. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Your wish is granted. The thousand-year door open. A thousand coins will, will appear. The thousand-year door opens. Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the Exnauts? Conquer the world to get rich, to become a superhero. I think it's the first two, but it's mainly the first one. Correct. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Tech, is this? Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits beyond the thousand year door? A 10,000 year old demon soul. 
I feel like when you compare everything, this makes the most sense. Also, I played the game before. <laughs> Correct. Now the fourth question. What does Sir Grotus wish to do with this ancient demon's soul? Sure, should always bring the demon back to life. Hang out with it. Probably bring it back to life. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Probably the crystal stars. This isn't Zelda. We don't know about spells, but we do have crystal stars. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you, is it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Let Mario know, Peach. Let him know. Uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Look at Peach feeling conflicted, but happy. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. And now we're probably going to get a Bowser cutscene. What has Bowser been up to in the time that Mario had his identity stolen? Saving, do not touch power. There is no memory card. But you know, do you, homie? Oh, my lord, we received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. He was already there once. Let's ride the cheap blimp there and come now. Oh, they're not going to have a ticket, are they? You there, two tickets. One great and evil king and one sweet young thing. G uh, the gravy. Bowser, the evil king and deluded old hag. I, uh, life's too short. They can take it to run. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskates. Where'd Bowser go? Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? Did he get on the train? Oh, nope. He's in his little flying car thing. ha! <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimp. I'll be riding this, baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problem. No problem. I can't say it's probably a when it's spelled like that. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Oh, wow. He took out the broom. Wait. Lord Bowser, please. Oh. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag commie lunch will go to waste. Are we going to control Bowser again? Uh-oh. He had a guess. Huh? That didn't sound good. What's that warning light? What did he say? I missed what he said. Ah! Uh oh, he's paper falling in the water. That's not good. But we we played Origami King. Ready to roll. Infinite lives. Oh, okay. The fire is too weak to break any of these blocks. That's right, get fried. Get toasted. A toasty bloom for some toasted shrimp. Calamari, as some may say. Beats! Gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. I feel like this isn't the same size he was before. I feel like this is still smaller. Though I may just be tripping. Hold on, I'm... 
gonna break everything. Even if I run out of time. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, give me more, give me more. Now I feel like he's back to his original size. I still gotta break everything. An X knot? How about not? Bowser knows what you guys have been doing. Kinda. Homie, what? Can Bowser not land on their heads? Since when? Literally, that's the whole way of Mario attacking and Bowser can't do it. You know what? I think I know what I gotta do. All right, give me this piece of meat. Next one's gonna be a piece of meat that's gonna make us like big things. Now we know we don't have to break every single block. Look, it's our star power. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. That's right, don't miss a Bowser. I burned the one that didn't even come down yet. That's right. Give me mo, give me, give me mo. I just wanted to get those. Wait, wait. Where we ended? Oh, we're up at the end? Why oh, is there a Goomba in the way? There's a Goomba in Lord Bowser's way? Isn't a Goomba one of Lord Bowser's minions? Finish! I don't know how to speak Finnish. <laughs> oh, back of the dock. Ah, ugh. Achoo. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's ah, It's Bowser! The Koopa King! You eat us! Someone help! Oh, she had a fun time in Ghostville. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat! As for me, this fell was fantastic! The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. Why would you do that in a fight? And then, the hot dogs. My, oh my gracious, yummerly. You have, you have fun too, hmm? He's unhappy. He did his own voice acting there. I didn't have to do that. No, Bowser. Is that a no? That was a no. It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it. It's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars. Now! And that's where the story of that ends. Now on to the next part. It says it's going to be about 20 minutes. I'm sitting at 18 and the first three was trying to get my internet stable. So it took about 15 minutes to get through all that storyline. But we still got this to go. I can't believe I was a fake. It was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all we've done, you've done for our town. Did we hurt your feelings? Nah, not really. You're a bigger man than I, than I, Mario. Are you saying he's fat? Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You brought a shining ray of light on our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. Thanks, Ami. Um, I guess we should just go then. Here we go. Can't think of any reason to stick around. 
So let's go let's find the door. Peach's mail. Oh goodness, Mario. Could would that be an email from Princess Peach? It would be. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exnots plan to revive the thousand year old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door. They'll find the demon spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Toadstool. An Asian demon spirit? Yep. That's what you were working for. Well, can I say that's what you were working for? This is not really true, I don't feel. I already got the thing over here. Yeah, I already got the thing over here. I don't need to do this part. Ha! Ah, you don't know where I went. You don't know where I went. Gotcha! He was fooled! You fool! Sad thing is I'm only getting one star point out of all of this. Alright, and then let's do a normal hammer over here on this one. And then this one will be dead. And then... Jade Fist! Oh. So it only takes three damage to kill those? I took, thought it took like four or five. Ooh. Mystery. What does that mystery do? What does that mystery do? Um, there we go. That we are. On um, what is... I wasn't mean to do that. Not mean to do that either. Okay. What I want to do is I want to... I wonder how much money we have. But the whole menu thing isn't dropping down. I know there's a button that does it. I think I have a light flash and telling me that my batteries are low. Hold on, let me try something. Did I try this before? If I did, it didn't work. What if I try it again? Right here. Still doesn't work. If my battery is out, I'll probably have to pause streaming and switch them out. Won't really be pause streaming, but it'll be like the loading screen thing that I do. Down we go. We gotta get to the to the door. I never remember what the path to the door is, though. First things first, through here. Down. And then down through here. Take the trampoline. Aha! Uh -huh. I got it right! Yes! Go, Crystal Star! I'm making sure I got my batteries ready to go at a moment's notice. Any day now. After this, we got three more stars to go. Ooh, an island! With a skull! Or a skull rock. The blue one! Let's go, blue. The location of a crystal star has been recorded in your magical map. I didn't realize that her base was like an accordion. We better hurry. Uh, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. Oh, it is raining outside. Like, really raining. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. 
You know, after we talk to the professor, I'll switch out the batteries. What? 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 That, that was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal star, the power of the crystal stars, to resurrect it. How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm. This is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV. Huh, me? You listen up to, uh, sure. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking, are you talking to no one? Oh, never mind you. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in the book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed its large town that once stood on this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spiritual, its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes you used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the evil. From this, they gathered that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So, if they were all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all only to have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might be better to destroy them once and for all? That would be my first thought too. But further research suggests that we cannot do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So, once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that these goons want the stars now may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready to for the demon's return, even if the x naughts fail. Oh! I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where do we start? Hmm. According to the map, it appears to be it appears to be somewhere in Keyhaw Key. Keyhaw Key. Keyhaw Key. I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff: vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salts down by the harbor. No more. You should head there first. Thank you, Professor. And now, with that being said, let's see how well I can swap out the batteries without having to close out the game for a moment. Let's see if I can slide the battery pack off the back of it. 250 coins. I'm investing in that uh, rodent's business. I'm gonna do that. If something pops up because I press a button. Yep, that's just gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Why does the Switch GameCube controller make it so difficult to get the back off? All right, batteries are out. The new one's in. Please just connect right to the game. Please just connect right to the game. Please just connect right to the game. All right, let's connect to the computer. Yes! Haha, <laughs> I didn't want to close out the game. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Let's go do a quest. We haven't done one of those in a little bit. Hi, what we got here? Uh, Kupuk. Try to find me. It's me, Kupuk, the wandering hide and seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail's castle right now. Hiding, uh, like you re read about. If you find me, I'll give you something good. 
Think you can do it? Really? Yeah, let's take on his trouble. And yeah, let's also invest in that business as we're making our way over to the dock. Because actually going this way does not lead you to that town. But that's okay. Let's invest 100 coins. Investment is the key to getting rich. Oh no, he's already gone. No, homie. I have your money. Well, it looks like I'm not getting rich. What a nice boat. That's a really nice boat. We could be talking to continue our quest, but we're not going to do it. Nope, not right now. Man, what was that rat going to give us anyway? I kind of really want to Google it. See what would have happened if I would have given them money. All right, but still, we got to make our way over to Hook's Tales Castle, get this done, then we'll begin the next chapter. But we probably won't get very deep into it. Let me Google this real quick. Favor Mario, the thousand year door, hundred coin investment. All right, where do we get to Hooktail's castle again? Lumpy, that's scares You know what? I can just go this way. This way. Lumpy is the green Ratui. Give him 100 coins so he can begin his expedition. You can give him 100, 200, 300 coins total. Uh, once Mario pays three increments of 100, Lumpy will not ask for more funds. He will immediately leave immediately for, to search for black gold. If Mario gives him 100, he'll bring back 300 a few chapters later. Uh, the maximum we'll bring back is 999. Uh. Well. I feel like I've missed out on a good investment. Maybe he'll be back when we get this done? Maybe? No, I missed the lift. Let's see, is the first one going to be to uh, Coopstown? We should, we should probably pull out coops for this. Aha, it was it. But now we got to run all the way over to Hooktail's Castle. Whereas if we had just gone through the pipe, it would have been easier. But I feel like it's actually harder to get to it that way. Yeah, because you got to like jump across water and stuff. I'd rather not. Here's a little bridge. There's a little pipe. Ah, the Goomba can't keep up. You chased me all that way and you still can catch me? Loser. I don't want to fight them just because it's not worth it. I don't think I could escape this one if I jumped. Yeah, this really isn't going to be worth it. But whatever. Easy battle. Easy points. Or easy point. I mean, easy, like, what, two coins, probably? What's he gonna pop out? Ooh, yeah. Health, flower power, and a coin. Don't think I needed any of those before the fight. Here we go, the castle. Let's go find where this homie is hiding. To be honest, I do really just want to get on to the next chapter, but yeah. This should be fun to do. That's not... Oh, I figured out how to do it. Here we go. That's the right button. And then we go. You know what? I'm going to bring out Coops for this. Coops, come on out. Oh, snap. Is there anything out here? Or is it just the way to fly back? Just the way to fly back. 
Yeah, this place is overrun with other Koopas now. And all the mist. Well, sucks on them. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How come you can't interact with these the same way you do grass? See, there's something hiding behind them or in them or something. Ha! Struck first. Wow. Let's go with Quake Hammer. My battle's done. And I blocked that damage. Oh, I need to upgrade Vivian. Now that we're back to the town and we have her as a partner, we gotta give her a little boost. Uh -huh, I'm gonna strike you first, too. I don't even need to do the Quake Hammer again. I just did it because I didn't want to have one left. Sack, Shell Toss. Easy. It's really not worth it. It's really not. I just need to find where this homie hiding. Where does homie hiding? Should I get up out of the way? Oh, ha, ha. Is this where we want to be? Like, really, really? Oh, I was to get something. No, it's not where we want to be at all. Put it back. And wasn't... Yeah, there was a purple one. Alright, homie, where are you hiding? Tell me where you hiding. Let's make it easier for me, please. Oh no, we are being chased again. Ah, oh, it doesn't even matter. We can slip through the bars. Chair. I was wondering what that was hiding behind the chest. It was just a chair. Come on. What is the way to break down these walls? Oh, let me try. Uh, disappointing. That was so disappointing. Really, where is this dude hiding at? I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail's castle. Okay. We'll try to find you. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Gotta switch back to oops, wrong way. So doing that right there. Boom. I up on another level. Still no sign of this Koopa that we're looking for. Wait, can... No. That's not going to work. What is the way to get that thing? See across, across, across. Out the window. I'm apparently at the end of the line. Hey, right, back the other way. And at the end of the line again. Uh, 
No, stay away. You're not worth it. You only get one star point. That's right, stay down there. And boom. Ah, there he is. Found a little mug. He did an even better job hiding. Hmm. So now. And then we'll get rid of you. Hanging out with some undead Koopas. Some dry bones. Oh, yay. Two coins and flower. Hi. Blast! So, you found me. Curses. I felt for sure that none would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much, I just never stop. It was a hobby, but I kept hiding, and soon I was known as the Hide and Seek Koopa. Koopook. I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we were barely shell high. Koops? Is that you? Yes, Koops. The same Koops. Who always had to be it when we played hide and seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you finally did it. Yeah. I remember back then that one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right? That was the very day I decided to become the hide and seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I've hidden and snuck and snuck and hid my way through life. Say something. Yep. That was a crazy day. And since he found me, this time, I'll give you a reward like I promised. Special card. A parlor card that lets you play the plane mode game. Huh. Found this while I was traveling and hiding around the world. I don't need it. Well, I'm off. Time to go look for a new hiding place. Wish me luck. I guess I've still got a lot to learn about hiding if you found me, Coops. It was nice seeing you again, though. See you later. I solved the trouble. And I got no money for it. But I did get something. Uh oh. Uh. Let's get rid of. I don't want to get rid of Mr. Mini. Mini, Mr. Mini. Bye, Mini, Mr. Mini. Wait, what's the best way to get out of here now? I think actually going up might be the way. Up, go to the left, and then drop down. Yeah, that sounds like a way. Oh, hey, a flying Goomba. Yeah, now the hooktail's dead. Everybody's just coming out. Hey, come it's a dead end. Not what I wanted. You didn't even try to touch me. Stupid flying Goomba. All right, what about this way? Stay away, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to. Oh, wow. It wouldn't let me stand on it. So I had to boop it. Boop, boop. Nope. Go over to this quake hammer. It should knock the back two off. Yep. And knock them down. Huh. Another dead. Convenient. I'm getting better at watching the background. Now we just need 55 more. All right, and boom. Boom. That didn't work. I guess sliding through the bars isn't going to work. I got to glide. Because there's a plane thing on the other side. I remember that. Oh, flash of light. Uh, lightning. Yeah. That's not a thing. What's lightning? What's thunder? All right, let's glide. The faster we get through here, the faster we can leave. I hope. Move. Hold up. Ah! Got the joint. Uh, drop the damage your ally takes by half when in danger. 
that's kind of not worth it. They're kind of already in danger. I can't hop over that, really. I can jump the height of it, but I can't go over it. Lame. Wait. Haha! -ha! We can finally leave. And begin the next chapter. I hope. I hope with the highest of hopes. Come on, let me. Because I don't remember what's up over here. I want to see. This was the true way to get further in Hooktail's castle, right? Nope. It was a dead end. There was something up there at one point. I already got it. Ah, oh well. Not my problem. Still want to figure out how to break every single one of the cracks in all the walls. I see how it is. All right, let's go. I didn't do enough. Yeah, let's just jump it. Ah, that's disappointing. What happens if you get the shine sprite? And I probably should have checked to see if there was more missions to do in a... Whatever this town was called, I forget what it's called. Stop, don't attack me, I'm drinking something, I only have one hand. Oh wait, I gotta go up, fall and return. That's right. Coop, gotta be two steps behind, huh? Paper Mario glides! I didn't even stop on anything. Uh, hold up. Let's waste six coins. Woohoo! Full health. Now we leave. The way the camera moved when he was coming out of that castle made me think that cutscene was going to happen. I was going to be confused of why. I chose that I was going to be confused of why. It's not true at all. I would have been confused. Very confused. Nope, we're not battling. You're not worth it. You have no value to me. No value whatsoever. Well, you may try. Stupid grass got in the way. All right, so we're going to shell toss all of you. Boom. Noise. Stop that. I feel like you want to make a foggy by doing that. Look, one star point. I might get two coins out of it. Maybe a flower power thing. Two coins, no flower power. Hmm. That's one of those things that I call not worth. Still want the rat guy to be back. I didn't want to give him any money before because I couldn't really afford it. I kind of needed the money all those times. But now I got the freedom. Oh, hold up. Flip through. Mega Rush key. Incre increase attack power by five when your partner is in peril. Hmm. I just saw another flash of lightning. Ooh, that was some loud thunder. I know my dog is freaking out right now. Oh, there's no monster here? I thought I was going to have to fight something here. Through the pipe. Up we go. And there we go. And we're at the perfect spot, too. Now we can just hit up this shop. 
Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Vivian. Shall I power up this partner? Yes. Shazibi! Shazupi! Just give it a power. Give her the power! Yeah, from here you can't tell that her little tail thing is an accordion. But we know. We know when we got closer. Then you may go. Thank you. Yeah, you can't really tell from right here. It's only when you have close-up dialogue. Also, where is Luigi at now? It's probably with some new partner after having done something. Before he was with the cherry bomb over here. Or the cherry bomb. -bom. Before that, he was with the fried squid. Luigi! Oh, Luigi! Where's that brother of Mario's? Ah, well, we'll just go down to the docks. We can start the next part of the missions. Luigi! It'd be nice if Lumpy showed up here now. Lumpy! Lumpy! I want you back! Uh, key all key. You mean the island where the treasure horde of Cortez, the pirate, is it? So you want treasure, eh? Fine. But keep an eye out, or the pirate curse will get you. What, Kyo Key? Oh, that place is absolutely awful. I've heard. Not long ago, ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but none ever returned. I bet they made a bad end of the pirate king's curse. Those guys were dumb. Kyo Key! That's the Curse Island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake! Alright, what about you, Salty? Um, uh, no matter how much I work, life will never get any easier for me. You know what I mean? There's gotta be a way to just go poof and get rich. You know? Poof! You added nothing. What about you? Oi, you, with a mustache. What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia I am. You can I can answer anything. Oh, key all key. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that, please. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. See that ship dock there? That belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He doesn't sail too often though. Mostly just hangs out at the Podley joints Podley's joint on the plaza. Huh. That's who we need to talk to, eh? You said Podsley? Yeah, Podley's joint in the plaza. Boy, oh boy, I wish I could turn into a ship and float around. Or how lumpy would be here and I can invest my money to get more money. More money. But alas, he went on without me. see where's podsley's place oh and then we get like a recipe or something that we give to zesty Yo, zesty hey mr contact smoosher listen to this i got the lowdown on a book that could turn anyone to a master chef i went to the trouble center in the east part of town and recruited someone to find it if you like helping folks out you ought to swing by there i'll reward you so anyway you need me to cook some for you bumblefoot dr bumblefoot no Oh, what a complete letdown. Whatever. Let's see, Podsley's place. Podsley's place. I don't think this is it. What is this book? Super Luigi. I want to buy it, but I don't want to buy it right now. Maybe... You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. First... I want to find this person. Oh, there's Luigi. With... What are you? Why do you have a wrench on the end of you? 
yeah, I'm Twerk. And don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I landed my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. Well, I'm heading to Circuit Breaker Island. And caught me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talking about thrills, chills, and spills. He was pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yeah, sure, whatever. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of the story do you want to hear, bro? You know what? We're not going to do it right now. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Oh, this is the one. Monetary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirits. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, huh? What is the misleading part of my life? This tears at the ver at my very inside. This tears at my very insides. I must know what do I lack? Uh, romance, definitely. I'd say emotion, probably thrills. Money, maybe. Probably thrills. Thrills, you say? Ah, I suppose one does need thrills every now and then. There's nothing like the feeling of being alone on the mountain, shivering to death. Ah, no! Foolish Flavio! Not chills, you silly man. What you need is thrills! Wait, hold the horses. That is it! Now that I'm thinking about it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, that is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks romance and thrills, emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure, the hid, hidden on Keyhole Key. Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of tre uh, pirate booty there. For the years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seeks his treasure. Eek! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Keyhole Key. But that will not stop Flavio. The treasure is there, yes. And I am going to prove it. But I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, seria, Sarah of the Seven Seas. What is that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure here in Roport? Oh. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot believe each and every, each stupid rumor about treasure that some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now that man has come bursting out of your mouth, you have a treasure map. But, well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keel Hall Key. You swine. You mean to seal my treasure out from under me. You awful, awful man. <laughs> well, now I'm confused. You are looking for things known as crystal stars. Oh, yeah. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business for me suggests. This must be a work of fates. The fates at work. I got it backwards. Oops. Flavio shall go with you to Kirhaw Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours. Yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. That's fine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? Ha! Ha 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 ha! You unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time. And it will be a massive, massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I shall volunteer myself at our intrepid, as our intrepid leader. 
Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickled my nostrils. Come at the harbor right away. And there he goes. We didn't really get much done this episode, and I'm actually okay with that. You know what? We don't have room for Luigi's... Uh, Super Luigi's book, which is fine. Maybe now... I was thinking Lumpy might be here now, but he's not. And... <sighs> Should I talk to Luigi and get one of his stories so we'll be out of the way? Because I feel like the more we get his stories done, the more we'll leave is something good. Let's go listen to one of Luigi's stories, and then I'll end this off at the dock. How's it sound? Let's do my Italian accent, try to make it nasally for the Ouija. Uh, let's skip this whole part, because we already heard it. Let's hear Rubble Bump Volcano. Well, like I said, it really, it's really a long story. But here we go. Here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the pudding continent, I set out for for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent, I spent several days for boating through dense jungle. I'm not good at Luigi's voice. I'm better at Mario's. I'll just go with Mario's voice. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off. You know, but I speak with habits. A brooper named Brookie heard me shrieking and found me in... This one town. Louie was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Blue is a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me uh, fight the uh, rubble bump volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy, with evil traps designed to protect the compass's peace. The scariest one w was, of all, was a gigantic 100-foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of the statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with a plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All of you, man, he's, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hooked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day, the jewel was wha got waxed. And it was a critical hit, and the statue's stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Declare was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it at the base. Now the compass points west to Plump Valley Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sail once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. We're not listening anymore. We're good for right now. I don't want to do his voice anymore right now. Also, I kind of want to see what is the next little mission that we have. After I check that, I'll go on ahead down to the dock, save it off, and the next time we'll finally go off in the next adventure. Because let's be real, I couldn't do these for a while. A Mayor Croup. Plenty. Who's Plenty? Need someone to help me restock? No, we're not doing Plenty's. Can you take more than one of these missions at a time? I feel like that's kind of crucial. What are you doing over here? The other day, I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been abandoned. Maybe that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. Oh, you saw Santa Claus. Good work, homie. And now I can finally get up here like I've been wanting to do. Now that he gave me an idea of how to do it. Uh-oh. I'm going to keep trying this. I'm glad Kid Yoshi didn't take any damage there. I might use up all my health trying to do this. Ah, I made it. 
They literally make us like you're at the very edge of it. Oh, come on. I jumped. I pressed A and you didn't want to register it. How many tries will it take me? We've done two tries. Unless you want to count the one where we didn't even make it across. Well, yeah, we'll count that. Seriously, jump, Yoshi! We're on four tries. Aha, we made it! Wait, 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 wait. Who are you? Good afternoon to you, sir. They call me Griffy, the traveling minstrel. Minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require a few points. Is there a tale that you want to hear? See these tales, and I can tell you now. Uh... For mere five points, I can share with you the tale of the fearsome demon. Tell me the tale. Ages ago, the city flourished here in peace and splendor. But it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, t'was a demon. The city sank below the ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. And its den, its palace, grew rich with the treasures stolen from all over the world. If there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. Not right now. But now we know we can get more of those stories. Get up here, get the shine sprite. Thank you. This is a dead end. Come back across. And then, turn skinny, roll up, in we go. Homie! What do you blokes want? I have no interest in passing the time with you. So sorry. Now, away with you. Now move away with you. No, but you're one of our partners. I have you on the side of my screen. He'll join us soon enough. Oh, look. Now we can upgrade him when we finally get him. Is there anything in here that we can get? Nope, not at all. Okay. I'd say this was worth it. We can get more story later. You know what? I kind of want to go around and like hear people's secrets. I know that's a horrible thing to do, but I want to do it. Also, what's a good way to get up higher and higher? I kind of want to know. I also kind of want to do Zesty's little mission of finding the book. Let's see, that's a house, that's a house. Is this where the book that she's looking for is? The cookbook? To make you anything, anyone a master? No. Um, here to buy. Yeah, yeah, no. She's not any help. Did she say east or west? Oh, no, she put in a request in the east part of town. That's what it was. She was just telling us that she had put one there. Huh. We're not going to bother with that now. I, what I do want to do is I want to see about... Going upstairs here. I always want to see if there's a way to get on the roofs here. Oh, is there any good badges? Happy flower. Slowly and automatically restores that flower power dorm battle. Gets Mario more star power appeal. Stomp on a single enemy using loss of attack power. This is kind of the only one I want, but I don't want to pay for it. Welcome. Feel free to look around. Thanks, but I'm not going to right now. What is the way to get up higher? So high. 
Oh, oh, oh. He's got, I need to get that creep down somehow. But I don't know how. Yeah, I should literally just sink down in the shadows with Vivian around people and just listen to what they have to say. Still want to find Lumpy again. Lumpy! I want to invest with money! And yeah. Oh, look. Everybody's here and ready to... Hi, homie. From the x Knots. Yeah, everybody's there ready to go, but we're not. We're saving and we're ending it off. I did not get much done this episode, I will say. But next episode, we're back to the regular missions. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, doses. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. And roaches get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta. Mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention.